John and Susanna Hall left Wallscroft in 1616, after which it fell into private ownership. It was a domestic dwelling and, for some time during the 19th century, a school, until the Trust purchased the property in 1949. The house cost the Trust £11,000 at a time when the average house price was around £1,900. The primary aim of the trustees was to restore Horscroft back to its 17th century self. The Trust's director insisted that traditional tools, materials and methods were to be used during the restoration. But saving Horscroft was no easy task. The inside of the house still had Victorian fittings with many of the Jacobean timber-framed walls plastered and painted over. Damp had rotted through the parlour floorboards and later improvements such as the bay windows had weakened the overall architectural structure. Horscroft was opened to the public in April 1951, which coincided with the Festival of Britain. The main part of the house was furnished like a middle-class Jacobean property, as Susanna and John Hall might have known it, and as much authentic 17th century furniture was sourced as possible. In spite of some delays, Horscroft was a huge success, attracting 33,000 visitors in the first year of its opening.